The goal of this video is just to give you a quick overview of the Vibe application, which is a social networking app that Sonoma Partners has built for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. If you've ever used Twitter or Facebook, then you're probably familiar with some of the, the main concepts that Vibe uses, which is basically uh, using different status updates to share information about what you're doing or what you're working on with other people. And then also having the ability to kind of use feeds and subscribe or follow to different things that you're interested in. So if you're at a you know, large company and there's you know, 500 different types of projects going on, you're probably interested in a handful of them. So you would just follow or subscribe to the ones that you think are uh, most pertinent to your job. Uh, likewise, you can also create different types of topics. So maybe there's a developer-specific group or a, a project manager-specific group. And so all the developers who are interested in those types of topics could uh, subscribe to the the developer feed and etc. And so what we're looking at here is we've got this installed and running in Microsoft Dynamics CRM online. So it's up and running in the cloud. And I'm looking here at my news feed. So I've, I've subscribed to a bunch of different uh, topics. And when I come in in the morning, if I just want to see what's happened, I can just quickly scroll down this list and see what's going on. So I can see uh, updates from the people that, I've, that I'm following. And we can see here it's kind of a mix of content. So this first record up here, this is uh, automatically gen generated. So every time an opportunity is created, it creates a, a Vibe feed post and plugs it in there. And if I wanted to get some more information about this, I could go ahead and just click on this link and just go ahead and open the opportunity you know, about this, uh, this Vibe feed post. And what's pretty cool about it is it actually saves all these posts as custom activities. So we're looking at the history. You know, In addition to all the emails and phone calls and stuff going back and forth to the client, you would also see all the Vibe posts, which are all the internal conversations going on about this opportunity so you can get that information as well. Uh, then we can also see here people are posting different topics so this one is directed at a developer group and looking for some information about uh, using the JavaScript and the ribbon. So if I click on this I can see the different responses back and forth and if I wanted to I could type in my own response here or maybe just keep scrolling through the list. Uh, you can see also Vibe supports these hashtags so if you if you punch in a hashtag and a topic so this one's about the convergence 2011 if you click that, all the posts containing that hashtag will, will pop up for you right away, which is great. Uh, we've got some video embedding here, so if I want to take a look here, I could. This is a YouTube video. If I click this, it's going to go ahead and launch that up for me right away. So if you see something interesting on the web, to you, you can go ahead and share that quickly and easily in Vibe. And really, it's just a way for people to uh, stay up to date with what's going on. You know, collaborate with one with one another, regardless of geography or location. If you're uh, in the office or working from home or traveling. Uh, you can access this and kind of share information back and forth with your coworkers. And one of the key concepts here is the, the feeds concept. So if I wanted to uh, take a look at my feeds, I can see here these are all the different feeds that I'm following. And if I decided, you know, maybe I didn't want to follow someone anymore, if I was not interested, I could go ahead and, you know, maybe un unfollow that feed. And then when I went back over here to my list, you know, all the ones that were targeted at sports would be, you know, taken out. And so I, don't, I wouldn't have to see those anymore if I wasn't interested in them. Likewise, we can also do searches here. So if I was interested in kind of maybe a particular topic, I could you know, go ahead and type search for something like this ribbon example. And all the previous Vibe posts that were about ribbon would pop up here. So if I'm looking for help on something specific, someone might have already asked that question in the past. And so I can come in, get answers uh, quickly and easily. So this is a great way to do some uh, informal you know, knowledge sharing back and forth uh, with your coworkers. And the other kind of kind of just wrapping things up here with Vibe, which is pretty cool, is the uh, the dashboards. So I go over here, I can take a look at this Vibe usage dashboard, and I can see uh, these are all the different authors that have posted Vibe feed posts. Uh, these are the different feeds that are you know the most mentioned, and these are the different types of uh, feed groups. So it's really a, just a quick and easy way for me to see you know who's participating in the conversation, who's contributing to the Vibe community, and who's you know uh, helping share information back and forth with other people. So. Hopefully you like what you've seen in Vibe. If you want, you can go ahead and uh, contact us. We'll get you some more information and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.